Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 Dreamcast review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Marvel vs Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes which we've never played it before, it's a fighting game slash beat up depending on what you want to call it. Personally I think it's one of the best fighters ever. It, it is one of those things that this defined the generation the same as Street Fighter 2 did. Loads of people were going nuts about this in you know the last decade and, and there's still our idea. It still is one of the most loved fighters out there and I still do myself adore it. I think it's the best in the series. It's just awesome in every way. And the Dreamcast version I think has been the, the best version that I've played because I played the Xbox version, played the PSN and Xbox Live Arcade version, wasn't keen on the remake. I was okay with the Xbox port but I think this one's definitely better at least when you can use a fight stick because the DC pad's not all that great. Um, so anyway, at the start you've got arcade mode, versus mode, training mode, the memory card and score ranking, they're all self-explanatory. Score attack is you play for a high score. Um, secret fact that I'll be going in in a second. Options, you've got quite a bit that you can do compared to a couple of fighters I've reviewed recently. You can change the difficulty, the time, the damage, the speed, you know, things like that. You can fully customise your button config and you can change the command list from long to uh, normal. You can also then, as I say, go into the secret factor, which is basically a shop. You earn points as you play through and you can buy characters and new colours for the characters and if you're not happy with who you're looking at you can just keep going in and they'll keep randomizing until you can find someone you think yeah i want them and basically you earn points all the way through and it's basically adds a load of depth to the one player it gives you a lot to do there's also it says a trading system in versus common it's like create a file to exchange characters and things like that and that's with a vm i don't know anyone else has a dreamcast so i honestly don't know how that works uh it's one of those, I'd imagine back in the day it was a cool feature, but now it's just one of those things that uh, you, I doubt ever gets used, the same as how uh, the, pretty much most games on the Dreamcast can't be played online. There's only a couple from dedicated fans that actually manage to still go online because people are doing private service for them. Character-wise, there is a huge variety. There are 56, although there's two Wolverines. There's Adamantium and Boneclaw Wolverine, and there's not really any difference, and it's something that annoys people. Um, Gameplay-wise, though, it's fantastic. First up, you choose your hero, and then you get... Well, it comes up a choice of things, and it'll tell you what your recommended is and what isn't, and that'll basically change how they assist you and what your super move is. So I'll just choose these three for now. Ryu, Sakura, and... Spider-Man, you can then choose your speed, you then go into the game and it's your standard arcade mode with the fact that you play through rounds and stages and well you play through stages of uh, opponents, it's not a round fighter at all. Uh, and then you get to the end boss who is like a huge being that keeps morphing and you, overall you have to defeat him like three or four times or something. I think this one's called Abyss, I know the third one's Galactus and I honestly can't remember who the first one is. Um, and basically though, the whole point is, for those who don't know it, it's a three round fighter, not a round fighter. So you've got to beat the entire opponent's team to go on to the next set of your opponent's team. Or obviously if you're playing versus, then that ends the fight and you pick characters again. You've got a bar in the bottom corner and that's your super bar. And to do the super bar and super moves is pretty easy. It's not a combination of buttons or anything like in Street Fighter games or anything. It's just basically you hold two buttons together. What two buttons? Your assist buttons, which I did see I'd mention. Basically, you can call a character in and he'll do something. So that there, Spider-Man, he webbed them so I could have came up and kicked the crap out of them. Ryu came in, did a fireball. There's characters like Jill Valentine, who if you put her on heal type, she'll bring a green herb from the Resident Evil series to heal you a little bit. And it's just really cool. It means that overall you've got to learn your team fully. You've got to see who you want in your team. Not just who you can play well as, but who's going to assist you well. Who's going to have a good super that can help you. And, uh, and as I say, depending on what... Uh, assist type you choose depends on what they do when they're supers because uh, Ryu here I believe I've selected him to yes it is huge Shoryuken, it's not Shoryuken, Hadouken Shoryuken's uh, the Dragon Punch but uh, I've chosen him to do the huge fireball but he can do different things there's all sorts of combinations and the fact that there's 56 technically 55 characters each with three different types that really is just an absolutely mammoth amount of options to choose from and it's why the game has a lot of bulk to it in both the single player and the multiplayer because you could play this game for years and still not find everything out about it and that's one of the best things about it 
Um, character swapping is simple, you just simply choose your two hard buttons and your two light buttons and it will change to whichever character that is. There's also the ability to change character before a fight by holding buttons. Um, uh, and there's also, you, as you might have noticed, there's red energy bars to go alongside the funky multicoloured ones. And basically what that will mean is when you change a character out, that red gets healed. However, there's also um, just, well to be fair, I don't know what I'm saying, also there's uh, very little else I can actually say about that system. It's self-explanatory really, the red gets healed. Um, I think as I was going to say there's also characters who can heal you, but I've already mentioned that with Jill Valentine. So quickly moving on. Uh, graphically, I think the game is absolutely fantastic. Musically, I'll get wrong for this because I did last time, but musically I actually really like it. There's a lot of people who hate the game's music, but I think it's great, so I'm going to shut up and let you listen to a little bit. So that was a little bit of the music. There's not really much else I could actually say about the game, but there's a couple of basics. Um, one, you do gain the ability to unlock the ability at least to play as multiple characters on the same team and having three Iron Man set to, I think it's projectile type, has got to be one of the most mental supers on the entire game. Overall, I think you can get a combo of into the hundreds. It's just absolutely insane to do it. And I used to love finding which characters you could get the highest amount of combo. Not even so much the highest amount of damage, because sometimes lower combos have higher damage because they're more powerful, but it's really cool just seeing the numbers tick up because of the amount of just projectiles being fired at you um, from three Iron Men and things like that. I think War Machine had a pretty good one as well if you got three of them. Um, but yeah, there's not really much else. There's a you might have noticed already a kind of like an insane jumping system, and it's because there's a lot of aerial attacks and that in the game, like a lot of combos that knock people up in the air, and then you can almost do a super jump like that. And it's also a really good way to get over an opponent because if you can pull it off and you're trapped in a corner, then all of a sudden you can get yourself out of the corner. But uh, yeah, I, I think that is all I can say. It just, so just to reiterate, it is an absolutely fantastic fighting game. If you've never played it before and you're wondering what the hype is, then it's worth picking up because it's not going to cost you that much, especially if you already own a Dreamcast. And the port is decent. It's one of the few times I can say this. The PSN port and the Xbox Arcade port is decent. It's one of the better ports, but I still don't think it's anything compared to the original. So there we go then. That's been the review. I hope you found it helpful. I don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion. So instead, I'll leave you to make your own mind up. So thanks for watching, and if you've got any questions about the game that I didn't answer in the vid, or that hasn't been answered in the comments, then feel free to ask and I'll help if I can. Also, if you did find it helpful, don't forget to check out my channel, because there's plenty more like this up there, and don't forget to subscribe, because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.